Welcome back to Mystical Heart Tarot Readings. This is a new case, just recently happened. Little four-year-old Cleo Smith, as seen through the eyes of a stranger with the help of spirit. As I said, this is a very new case. I have very little information up to and including little Cleo's astrology sign. Little Cleo is missing over in Australia, Western Australia. And what I gathered from people that live there, I'm not too familiar with the country. Apparently they have different states over there like we do here in the US and traveling is very tight and restricted over there due to the pandemic. Hopefully I can say that word and not get in trouble. But y'all know what I'm talking about. Little Cleo was with her family, her mom, her dad, and her little younger sibling. They went camping. They were going camping. And at some point, little Cleo came up missing in the middle of the night. And it wasn't just her, her sleeping bag was also missing. This happened just this past weekend. I believe it was on 10-16. October the 16th, 2021. As I said, I don't have anybody's astrology signs, including little Cleo's. So, I'm going to just ask a general question until we can get more information or unless she's found, which would be a wonderful thing. So the question I'm going to ask, the general question I'm going to ask is what happened to little Cleo that night. I did watch an interview with her parents and they did state that she was not the type that would wander off by herself. So let's ask, ask Spirit what happened to Cleo Smith that night. So, not having any astrology signs makes it a little difficult, but that's okay. We'll still work with what we have and what knowledge we have, which is limited. Other than the fact she went missing in the middle of the night and her sleeping bag is also missing. So, the first card... I have is Two of Swords. And it's next to the Two of Pentacles. Two of 
twos usually represent some sort of partnership. This could be re represent somebody within themselves. Within ourselves, we have a dark side and a light side. And that's what this could represent because we have the blindfold on. And this is a spiritual card too. I feel this is spiritual. Somebody had, may have been having some thoughts. There may have been some communication. And there may have been, if this was an abduction, there may have been a partner. And the reason I say that is because I've got a two here and I've got a two here. Although I don't have the two of cups, I still have two twos. The two of pentacles could represent the sleeping bag because that's what pentacles represents is materialistic things somebody is trying to balance something here and there's that rainbow somewhere over the rainbow And we have water here, slightly rough, but not very rough, with a ship coming in. And I believe they may have been camping near water, I'm not sure. And the full moon is coming up tomorrow night. So they were, we were coming up on a full moon. The full moon was approaching when this happened. And then here we have the Ace of Swords, which is a delay. A delay in communication, or possibly a delay in thoughts. I feel more like it's a delay in communication of some sort. I know the parents said they looked around everywhere that they could think of because they had grown up in that area and they looked at all the places that they had been when they were growing up as children. So there may have been a delay in communication, possibly. But here we have a page of pentacles. This is somebody younger. This could be somebody younger that has a big e ego because that, the tail feathers are kind of starting to plume out on that peacock. When that peacock is in full plume, that means that's the ego in full bloom. Starting to grow an ego. This is could be a young younger person starting to grow an, an ego. For some reason, the green here makes me think of money. Somebody with a big heart. Let's clarify these.
clarifying the Two of Swords. We have the Knight of Pentacles. Now the Knight of Pentacles, Pentacles could be is something materialistic. This knight is not moving very swiftly. And he's clarifying the Two of Swords. And like I said, the Two of Swords, this could represent somebody's having a conflict within their own head, having a conversation in their own head. It could be subconscious because they're blindfolded. And it could be in regards to, it could be in regards to money. Their thoughts could be in regards to money. But they're not moving, this night's not moving very swiftly. Let's do the Two of Pentacles. Now we have the devil in reverse. The devil could be somebody under the sign of Capricorn. I haven't mentioned any other signs. We've got, so at this point we have two swords, which are the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have Pentacles and Pentacles, which is Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. And now we have Capricorn itself. Possibly somebody that is Capricorn, Capricorn, the devil is in reverse. He's clarifying the Two of Pentacles. The Two of Pentacles, as I said, could be balancing two jobs. could be balancing finances clarified by the the um, devil in reverse there could be falsehoods being told Going behind the devil's back. I just heard that. The Ace of Swords. Is clarified by the Queen of Swords. She's upright. The Queen has insight. She has patience in thoughts and patience in communication. And she is clarifying a delay in communication. Clarifying the Page of Pentacles is the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is a new start. So 
This page could be starting a new relationship, a new peaceful relationship. So what happened that night? What I'm seeing here is possibly two people involved. One may be younger and the other one may be somebody they're getting involved with. Possibly a young man and a young woman. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Just always keep in mind I cannot answer a yes or no question. So before you put the comment in, ask yourself, is this a yes or no question? If it is, try to form it so that it's not yes or no. If you don't feel comfortable and you want to, you can always send me an email. My email address is listed in the description box as well as it's listed in the about section on this channel. I send much love and many blessings to all my subscribers, all my viewers. I'm very grateful for each and every one of you. And let's all send prayers out to Cleo to come home safe. As always, I'll see you back next time. Have a wonderful day.